Hello, hello, hello. My name is Jenna. This is 1111 with Jenna. I'm here seven days, seven nights, 14 times a week. And I am here right now. It is Sunday, October 23rd. It is 1111 p.m. on the eastern side of the world, of the states, of the United States of America. It is now 1112. And I'm thinking I'm just going to do... I know it's a little, it's kind of loud, but it's not like of the other one is. Hey, Pat. Hello there. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Patty Loman. Let's see. I just got to edit my privacy and make it go public and change the audience. The change will do you good. It's true. I edited the privacy. We are not public. Now all three of you can share the show. How are you? Hello, Melanie Damore, Grand Rapids, Michigan. What's up? What's up? I had every intention today. I was like, oh, if I could just get in the car and drive to Grand Rapids and see Melanie just for a minute, but I didn't know where she was going to be for dinner, and I didn't want to, you know, be like, hey. But the thought was there. It really, really was. We had a lovely, hello, Julie Luce. Hello, William. We had a lovely meal outside tonight. Mama Grace, Stacy, <sighs> Maggie Girl, and we had fun. Hi, Leonardo. Hello. I have some gigs coming up in the Bay Area starting on November 3rd. I will be in Belmont November 4th. I don't know yet. November 5th. I will be in Tiburon November 6th. I will be at the back room in Berkeley, California, November 11th in Pleasanton, November 12th in Healdsburg, and November 13th in Upper Lake. Hello, Suzanne. And today is Machiko Shimada's birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear. Magical, magical, Machiko. Happy birthday to you. Ah, that's so cool. I'm so happy. Melanie, you'll be back. And I'll probably be around. Maybe maybe I'll be closer yet. Who knows? Who in the world knows? I know nothing. I'm, I definitely... <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, isn't that good, Patty? Isn't that a good one? That's a good one. My friend Judy Luther, I've been friends with her since first grade. She wished me a happy birthday. Thank you, William D. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Whoop, whoop, whoop. What is it, hat? It's the Cubs. It's when they won the championship. They won the World Series in 2016. What a party we had that night. That was a good one. Hey, Pat. How was your day? Who did what? And who's going to jump on here tonight and talk with me? It is story time. You could tell another story if you want. Melanie Damore. I know. William, so do I. Hi, Michael Bartoloni. Michael Bartoloni. Michael Bartoloni. So the... Hot water is heated. Hello, Mama Grace with the beautiful face. Didn't we have a lovely time tonight? And all of a sudden, there was a raindrop. And then there was another raindrop. And Grace goes, it's going to stop soon. And then there were maybe two more raindrops, and that was it. That's it. Let me see a brush with fame. <clears throat> Have I told you my Dr. John story? That to Bettina's? Ah, thank you, Michael. I think I have told that story. 
Dr. John story. I mean, I have a couple of Dr. John stories. It was a good talk. Yeah, that was great, Melanie. Thank you so much. Let's see, Dr. John, um, Timothy Hutton, Pee Wee Herman. I was in a watch store. There used to be a watch store on Melrose in Los Angeles. And I was in there getting my watch fixed. I was with my friend Bleaker Bob. There's a brush with fame. If you don't know the name Bleaker Bob, Google him. Bleaker Bob was a good friend of mine from New York and had a, a record store called Bleaker Bob's back in the day, yo. And um, I was in LA and he had just been, this isn't name dropping, this is just setting the tone. He was just with Frank Zappa and he said, hey, I got you a watch. And he handed me a watch and he got a watch and let's go in this watch store. And there was Pee Wee Herman and he was... He was his Paul self, not his Pee Wee self, his Paul self, Paul Rubens. And so we hung out and talked with him for a little bit. I was like 22. And Bleaker Bob and I stayed friends until he left the planet, I think like two years ago. But he had a cool record store in the village, man in New York City. Um, hmm. Now, I, I know I have brushes with fame, but I can't think of any right now. If somebody got on here and started talking with me, I might start going, oh, right. Oh, I have kind of a cool one. My friend Todd Reynolds, who has still not been on the show, is a fabulous, incredible violinist. Lives in New York City. Actually, he lives up in the Vermont area now. And he was he started a quartet called Ethel. It was a string quartet, really a, ahead of its time. And at one point he was opening for Joe Jackson and Todd Rundgren. They both played solo and then they, and then Ethel would come out and play with them. Todd's on the stage, plays some solo stuff. Ethel comes out, they leave, they come back. And then Joe did the same thing. And then we were invited over to Todd Rundgren's house, the house in San Francisco. I'm not going to say where because he still has it. And I was there with another friend, a couple friends, but one of my friends, Tim Ware, who's an incredible musician from Oakland. Melanie, I'm sure you know Tim. And I'll skip one thing that happened because... There was somebody there that wasn't very nice, but I won't say who. And then we were all kind of hanging out in this area, Tim and Todd Reynolds and a couple other people. And a, a glass of wine, red wine, spilled and broke on the ground. Well, it broke and it spilled. And, and it was fine because it was kind of a, you know, it was a warehouse space and so it was concrete floors and um Tim Ware looked over at me and I go, Oh he goes, I guess this is what it's like to not party like rock stars, but party with rock stars. So I wonder if he remembers that. I'm sure he does. But that happened. It really did. Hmm. I mean, I've, I've opened for a lot of really amazing musicians and have had encounters with people like Al Jarreau and a lot of people. Rosemary Clooney, I loved her. Abby. But I'm trying to think of more like Cher kind of people. Sally Fields, I saw her in a store. And she's so cute. She's just, she's beautiful and she's cute. My sister has a Sally Field story. Abby. I 
I spent my 40th birthday with Abby. I was, I had been living with her before and then I went back to California and then she invited me out for my birthday. And we had a lovely time. We had dinner and we walked. She lived on the Upper West Side, 108th and Riverside Drive. And that was a good birthday. Yep. It was a Sunday. It's a long time ago. Wow. Wow. Kind of a while ago. Um, I remember when I met Melanie Damore. I remember when Melanie Damore started watching my show and then she was on it maybe three days later. Thank you, Melanie Damore. So tomorrow morning, Monday morning movement. Monday morning movement. That's what will be happening tomorrow. And then tomorrow night, birthday party. Mm -mm -mm, birthday party. If you can make it to Planks, cool. And if you can't, cool. But come hang out tomorrow night for 11 11. And then Tuesday morning, you know, just Tuesday. Tuesday night, kind of mellow. Oh, I do. I have my. My dog is my Valentine. Thank you, Carol in Ra, Morocco. And Wednesday, Wednesday. Hey, Suki, wow. Come be on the show. Come be my guest on the show. There's some percussion right there. Hi. Heading back to the town tomorrow. I head to the town on November 2nd and you will be in New Mexico. You're in a good town right now. Grand Rapids, good town. Wait, let's see what this one does. Yeah. <laughs> one more, just for the heck. It is about that time. Lots of fun decorations happening. Wednesday, 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 we will be here. Fundraiser. Keep the lights on. Actually, I need a new light. Keep the, keep the party going. Keep the fire burning tonight. Trying to, trying to keep the fire burning here. Hi, Tammy. I forgot where you were, but you were performing live somewhere for my first 11-11. Hooked me and thought it was a regular occurrence. Rich. Now there's a good question for Wednesday. So I was doing a live show for 11.11. It might have been, hmm. That's a really good question. Ron Carter documentary and PBS. Totally amazing. There's a brush with fame. Ron Carter. I've met him. I've not worked with him. I know a lot of people that do work with him, have worked with him, learned from him. A lot of people I know studied with him. Ron Carter. I've seen him play many times. He is amazing. Yeah, that, that is on PBS. Thank you, William. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, Wednesday. We start at 11, 11 a.m. and we go through the 11, 11 p.m. all day. Well, Definitely part of the day and all of the night until midnight-ish on Wednesday. Thursday, probably a short show. Thursday night, probably another short show. Friday, Friday I'm going to be doing something, so I think I'll do something. I can't remember what I'm doing now. I need to watch the show earlier to remember what it is. Friday night, display and share, Saturday morning. Yeah, Wednesday. Wednesday. And then gigs happen. Rich, if you're around Sunday, November 6th, back room, Berkeley, California. 
Berkeley, California. It's actually, oh, that's a good one. Vanessa Williams. See, I knew if I talked long enough, I would get one. Um, I used to work at a recording studio and the Tonys were in there working. The Tonys, I worked with the Tonys. I worked with Too Short. I worked with En Vogue. I worked with a woman by the name of Nikita Germain. I, I did some cool stuff. Um, and the Tonys were doing this song and they wanted Vanessa Williams. Oh, that is so cool. Well, William, I hope so. You and Lynette. Oh. I would love to play in Seattle. Yeah, I saw that. Ron Carter with Elvin Jones. Hi, Elliot. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Rich. That's Sunday, November 6th. The back room. Let me see. If I press on that right now, what does it do? Whoa, check it out. Funk Soul Brothers right about now. Funk Soul Brother, check it out now. That's very nice. All ages, BYOB. For those 21 space dedicated to mostly acoustic music of all kinds, you are welcome to bring your own food and adult beverages with no additional corkage fee. The venue is ADA accessible. If you need more information, please call 510-381-1997. That's 510-381-1997. Our indoor shows require that you wear a mask, except when eating and drinking. The performers will be maskless and same day tested. And the general admission, it's $20 with a $2.09 fee. There's an earlier show that day with Chris Dingman. Wow. Oh, Kai Eckhart's going to be there on November 9th. I know what I'm doing on November 9th. Hello, Kai. Very cool, very cool, very cool, very cool. Let's see. Does that, what happens when I hit there? Hey, and then she hyperlinked it to my page, my my Facebook page for 1111. Very, I'm, I'm so impressed. I really am impressed. Thank you, Backroom. Um, Thursday. Yes. I do too. Why well, I, I asked for that kind of. I sent him my links. Yeah, that's a good one, right? Um. Bring your own cashew. It said it says food. I would love it if cashew would please, 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 please come to my show. He can sit with me on stage. Has Cashew been on stage? This could be part, this could be a part of the new, the new part of the show, starring Cashew. Ah, that's love. That is love. I know it well. It's a dog thing. Some of you would understand. Anyway, I'll check with them to make sure dog starves. It's, it's fine. He's your, he's your, he's your animal. He's your animal. I'd say he's your service animal. He services all of us, makes us very happy. Dog star. <clears throat> he is a dog star. He's your plus one. Exactly. Um, that's an interesting thought, Rich. But he might, would he bark if you were around people? I was just thinking if you wanted to do the door for the show. Because it's always nice to have someone do the door. Someone I know do the door. But 
if you do the door, then you get a plus one. Then you just come to the show. That would be a huge help. And if you can hold him and do that, I don't know. Hey, I like this flower right here. It's like it's... Yeah. You know, like these. But I moved everything a little bit. I'm moving some furniture. I'm moving stuff around a little bit. We'll talk. Well, if you'd rather not do that and just come to the show and you can bring them, just bring them to the show. I'll find somebody. Feels good. Yeah. So, oh, so Vanessa Williams showed up at the studio. And I, you know, had to make sure everything was cool for Vanessa Williams. Vanessa Williams. And then we started talking about vocal instructors. And the next day, I came home and my sister goes, um, Vanessa Williams called? I go, oh, cool, V, what's up? My sister's like, you know Vanessa Williams? Yeah, I hung out with her yesterday. And then, oh, this is where it gets crazy cool. Okay. So then I was in L.A., fast forward a little bit, maybe a couple years, maybe more. I was in L.A., and I had, I think I had made my first record, and I wanted to drop off a CD for Vanessa. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. I don't think, I don't think I was dropping off a cassette, but maybe. So I find, she gives me the address. It's her office and her husband's office. And I get there. And there's this lovely woman receptionist person, personal assistant, at the front. When I get there, I said, hi, I'd like to leave this for Vanessa Williams. And she goes, are you from St. Joe, Michigan? And I said, yeah. She goes, Jenna Mamina? And I go, yeah. She goes, Elaine Katsoulis. I'm like, Elaine Katz. Last time I saw Elaine Katsoulis, she had headgear on. And then she ended up being their assistant person she ran the show and now she has a dog rescue yeah okay there's my story for the night i meet vanessa we hang out with the tonys it feels good yeah and then i end up seeing elaine katsoulis and i need to get elaine on the show i'm gonna message her yeah he's skittish but i want to see him so maybe it's best if you just come to the show and you know just kind of put a cashew in your pocket one cashew in my pocket and the other one's selling a cd all right kids i think i am going to say good night because no one's coming on to offer their stories and move some more stuff around I'm in a moving mood right now. Tomorrow morning, speaking of moving, we will be moving right here on 1111 with Jenna. Thank you very much for being here. I think I will sing a song for you. Oh yes, Cashew. Oh yes, Cashew. I will sing a song for you. Oh yes, my sweet Cashew. Hey, I love this dog, he's so cute. Sometimes I'm sure he toots, but I know that he brings so much joy to Rich. Do you start your job tomorrow? Go Rich, go get rich. Have a great night, Patty and all of you. Stay safe, stay healthy, and be be real nice stay safe stay healthy and be 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 real nice cashew oh cashew you are sweet hello pretty lady what's going on i am here every day sometimes short wednesday will be real long come on be my guess sometime. See you in the morning and we'll rhyme. Yes, I guess we'll be here soon and I will see Cashew soon. Yes, I will see Cashew.
catch you soon. So from your thoughts, make them caring. From your words, make them cool. And from your heart, oh, from your heart, make it count. Thank you very much, Rich. Thank you. Hey, it's going to be my birthday in 24 minutes. Good night. <sighs> I'll see you in a minute, Mama Grace. Love hard. Really, really hard.